All right, that was gutsy, and that was a bigger bite than I had off my corn dog for sure. Governor DeWine has just gotten to the fairgrounds. We'll have more with him coming up later tonight. And he visited a local lemonade stand today, too. I'll talk with the owners of that and share their story coming up later tonight during First News at 10 and 11. Now, the first Monday in September hasn't always been a day for cookouts and fun in the sun. Labor Day honors the American labor movement, honoring the social and economic achievements of American workers. First News Weekend anchor Samantha Bender has more about the true meaning behind the holiday. Today on Labor Day, we pay tribute to the contributions and achievements of American workers. The first Labor Day parade was held in New York City in 1882, and it gained traction from there. Celebrations and picnics started all across the United States. By 1894, it was celebrated in 30 different states and became a federal holiday. Here in Youngstown, in the Mahoning Valley, you know, our heritage is in labor and industry. Jessica Trickett with the Mahoning Valley Historical Society says the freedoms we enjoy today, especially right here in the valley, were built on the backs of the people who came before us. And the reason, again, that we have uh, minimum wages and things like that are because um, the people fought for those things. And so it's not just about, of course, you know, the end of summer or a Labor Day sale. It's about uh, people who really fought for those rights. Dr. Tom Leary with the Youngstown Historical Center of Industry and Labor says Youngstown was a symbol of a lot of the changes that took place in the American economy and labor relations in the 19th and 20th centuries. And a good bit of that had to do with the development of collective bargaining in heavy mass production industries like steel. Something that hits home for Sam Caymans, whose grandfather was a longtime labor leader in the Mahoning Valley. The health care and benefits expert consults large corporations. Sam says the career was inspired by his grandfather's passion for equality and fairness. Really diversity, equity and inclusion is what we call it today. Uh, but at that time it was, you know, making sure folks had time on weekends, had paid time off. Um, had life insurance and other benefits. But as for the future of labor in the valley, experts believe we're moving away from an industrial economy and more towards service and entertainment. It's a different landscape of labor, but, um, you know, we're still a working population. Reporting for WKBN 27 First News, I'm Samantha Bender.